From delivering blood to rural hospitals to flying human organs, drones are becoming even more essential in emergency medical work. The drone was used to deliver a kidney to a Baltimore hospital in April, where doctors then transplanted the organ into a patient. It was the first live test of the kidney-carrying aircraft designed by doctors and engineers at the University of Maryland to help speed up the transfer of organs. We have eight motors to provide redundancy in case we have some failures. There's also a parachute recovery system. In case the entire aircraft fails, we can still get it down safely and the organ will be safe. The drone is a first of its kind, specially designed to not only transport, but also protect its precious cargo. The test flight was a brief three miles of 4.8 kilometers, but University of Maryland Medical Center transplant surgeon Dr. Joseph Scalaire said it represents the potential for many more lives to be saved. If you called me and told me that you had a marginal kidney that I know would be of potential benefit to my patient, but that it's not going to get here for a long time, we may say, you know what, that's just too much risk. But now, in a system where we've innovated the amount of time that, it, that, that can elapse between the, the recovery hospital and the implantation hospital, we may be able to accept that organ. So we think as many as 2,500 kidneys a year could be added to the pool. To carry out the project, Dr. Scalaire's team of medical experts worked with colleagues in aviation and engineering at the university, as well as the Living Legacy Foundation of Maryland, which oversees organ donations. He performed the transplant along with two other surgeons. He adds that he pursued the project after constant frustration over organs taking too long to reach his patients. The drone-delivered kidney was implanted into 44-year-old Baltimore resident, Trina Glispie, who spent eight years on dialysis before undergoing the procedure.